so it's been uh, two weeks since the last time I skied. And it's the first run, haven't made a single turn on snow yet. And I'm gonna run you through my warm up of what I aim to try and feel under my feet and feel my skis doing. The first thing I'm gonna do is make sure my boots are actually done a little. So these top buckles, I'm going to actually pull off the catches. These ones are gonna leave on. Top ones off. Just left on the catches, and then the booster strap is also loosen. Because I don't want to feel the boot supporting me yet, doing any kind of support. I want to feel my feet working. That's the goal. Then I'm going to focus on feeling the sole of my foot. Whole bottom, as much of the bottom of my foot as possible, holding against the ski. So whenever I move, I want the two to sandwich together and move together, as opposed to possibly the foot going a little bit more than the ski, which would be like my foot peeling off the, the, the base. So I'm trying to get the base of my ski and my foot to follow the same angle, and I'm going to start with low edges and start building up. So that's the focus. <laughs> I needed to be like more tense, I need to create tension and the feeling I get is almost like retracting my toes, so not clawing them down but kind of pulling them back into my feet. So I kind of lock my foot front to back and stick it to the base of the ski and really feel can I control, like if I had no up cuff on my boot, so no help from leverage there, could I get the skis to tip over? So I'm going to really work on that tension. on more just the end of the turn so I'd be probably saying a lot of the time I was focused on feeling stuff from up here the top of the turn to down two-thirds the last third of the turn I'm really gonna make sure I feel a solid sensation in my heels my heels controlling and cutting the tail of the ski into the snow there's got to be a cutting of the tail through at least some part of the turn that's where you get most of the grip. So now, last third of the turn, heel. So inside of the heel, really solid. focused on mostly the outside foot and the outside foot of course has nearly all the pressure on it but your inside ski how it's balanced and moving can really either make or break how effective the outside ski is. So I'm gonna still focus on this idea of this feeling of being sandwiched and stuck to my baseboard and the base of my ski with my foot so every movement is translated directly. 
and I'm going to switch my focus to the inside foot. Okay, it's going to be a feeling of very light. It's almost I'm almost going to be imagining I'm pulling the base up into the foot. So there's kind of a little bit of pressure down, but I'm trying to like bring it up towards me as opposed to pressing down. The pressing down and tilting is more for the outside. The inside foot is a sucking up and moving it together. And again, I'm just looking for them to be symmetrical and stuck together. Real sensation of like, like a pulling, retracting, sucking up, but pulling the base of the ski is like the idea up under you as well. And it makes me feel, instead of just standing like this, I get more squatted. So it's a really good view to keep you flexed and low. Thinking of pulling the base of your ski into your body and off the snow is a very, very different sensation from just lifting the inside ski. So I highly encourage you to just try this sensation. Um, the cue I find really, really important. It's almost like I don't want that ski to drop off or there to be space between the sole of my foot and the base of my boot and then therefore the base of the ski. Really good, really good. So great kind of double cue of getting the edge angle to move with your inside foot, but also to keep your stance flexed and athletic. 